morning. can actually say that today Good and I'm not morning. upset. Good morning. Good morning. How do you like my hat? I love it. I'm I'm very thankful that you're wearing it. I have to because this is my sixth season. I know. Like clockwork, this. almost every single year, I always get really, really sick right around this time. Yeah. Like sick, sick. Like like sinus infections sick. And I would I don't even know that I'd be able to film a vlog because it's that bad. It's like not being able to breathe, being so achy, hating the world. Uh -huh. Like horrible asthma, asthmatic bronchitis, like just. You should talk to the doctor and see if there's anything you can take as a preventative, like a Zyrtec or something. I, I will. I don't see him until, what was that, next week? Yeah. Yeah. I think next Friday. It is next Friday. Yeah. So. So yeah, that'll be fun. So we're on our way to get the blood test. I know we're almost there. Like, what, five minutes maybe? Yeah, I'm getting and, nervous. And we won't hear anything for a little while, right? We won't know until the afternoon. Okay, so we'll, if I'm not there with you, cause mm -hmm. you gotta go do paperwork or whatever, mm -hmm. will you be able to like take the camera so we can see it? I'm well, gonna try. So yeah. I can see it. I think that we should ask the nurse what about what time she'll be calling. Right. How, How long do you not... think you'll be doing paperwork for? I don't know. I'll probably be done by noon. Right. But I mean, if they call, you know, mm -hmm. even though I'm only like five minutes away, I probably you can't say. Could you please hang on for five minutes? I could just. Oh, she probably. Yeah, they'll leave a message. Leave a message, right? Which you could do that. I could just, yeah. You could just, you know, I gotta stop. I know. You could just ask her or tell her that you pr she'll probably have to leave a message. You or know. I could just not answer, see if she leaves a message, and if we have to call back, then we have to call back. True that, but you know that they're super busy. I know. We'll have to find out when they leave. Man, a lot of it's questions. It's Friday though, so they're probably not as busy. Right. They're very busy on Mondays. Very. Well, either way, we'll know today, right? Yeah. That's how that works? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because my mom sent me a message yesterday and asked what time we went in. And she wanted me to call her right away. Okay. And then I had to explain to her. I said, I said, I think they called back. Yeah. You know, after they get the results. Right. They do. So. They won't have the results immediately. Right. Man, I had some weird dreams, though. Total baby on the brain. Yeah? Yeah. Like, what did you have? Just, like, a whole room that was this giant diaper genie. Yeah. Isn't that where you put the diapers where they don't smell? Yeah, something? but those don't work. Well, isn't it like a fancy garbage can? Yeah. Well, how does it not work like another garbage can? What is a diaper genie? It's supposed to hold the smell in the garbage, but... Doesn't the smell doesn't... come up when you lift it? I don't know. Up to throw it away? I know that we, I think we had one for a meadow and I don't think it worked. Okay. I don't know. I gotta go visit my cousin Jenna. See how those cloth diapers work again. She showed me a few years ago, but I forgot. Yeah, I'm still not like super happy about the idea of the cloth diapers, but in an effort to help reduce waste. Mm hmm. You know, I think it would be something that we could possibly look into and maybe it could be something that we could do since we're not as disciplined mm -hmm. as Jenna. Maybe like when they get a little bit older because... We're going to have to be more disciplined with a baby. Did you hear what Emily said though? She what? said, I could not imagine washing all of the newborn poo, all of those piles of poo. You know? Well, every situation is different, though. It's true. It's true. So. Well, and Jenna has the special cloth diapers. Like, they make them to where she has the part that's outside, and then the cloth part goes inside. So, like. I think. I don't remember. No, I'm pretty sure. Like, she, like, gave us the rundown that one day when we were over there. Mm -hmm. And so that way there's no chance of it leaking because I remember back in the day a cloth diaper was literally just a cloth. Right. So if that baby was sitting anywhere, it'd go right all like all over you. Right. Yeah, this is this is different. Right, and I know that we've decided that if we go out of town 
or go to someone's house, we're not going to use cloth diapers. Right. So I'm okay with that. So if it's just at home, it's it is different. Like I don't I don't mind it yeah. as much. I, I wish you would just be open to looking into it. I'm I am open. It's just with our situation with our washer and dryer being downstairs, we do have to find a place to put that. Um, because we don't have a laundry chute or anything, we have to go outside. I know. You know, so like what is gonna happen with that smell if now you're saying that diaper genie doesn't work? So it's a lot we have a lot to look into. Yeah. Yeah. We've got time though. We've got time. Everybody keeps telling me there's plenty of time and that is making me even more freaked out. Why? Because I kind of feel like it's people who wait to the last minute to do all their homework. You know, oh I got time. I got time. That's I got when I time. do my best work. I'm is when I wait till the last minute. Oh, I agree. I work really well with schoolwork under pressure. However, you know, there's time to paint later. There's time to buy furniture later. There's time to do this later. I just feel like later is going to come and I have a bunch of stuff to do. Well, you know, I can find some other people to help me. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we're here. We're pulling in. Will you help me? Yeah, we're pulling in, so gotta go get that blood test. Yes. Well, all right, guys, I'm back home. As you can see, uh, Carrie is at the store doing paperwork, and the blood test went well. We have to wait for probably another four hours for the results. It's a little bit scary because of all the stuff that I read, you know, because of yesterday's uh, little epiphany there, um, realizing that I really didn't know much about pregnancy or how electronic tests can be wrong. Uh, so I kind of feel like I'm in that same boat again, you know, that I was before we took uh, the clear blue the other day. But anyway, I'm positive, I'm gonna stay positive, and I'll just wait for that call. There's literally nothing else I can do. Uh, I wanted to take a few minutes though to update you about how things have been going with my weight loss journey. Um, it's been pretty positive so far. I'm really happy about it. I have had several people, you know, from school and from my internship ask me if I'm losing weight. I'm telling you, nothing makes me feel better than having someone who's not around me all the time. I mean, school, my cohort, those guys are kind of around me, you know, but we do have classes that are about a week apart, so, you know, there is a little bit of time there. Um... But having somebody from my internship, you know, who doesn't really know me at all, probably doesn't even know that I'm on this journey, tell me that, man, I felt, I kind of felt like I was on top of the world, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I was, like, really happy. Hi, Robert. Oh, oh my gosh, honey, be careful. So, I haven't been working out because of my knee. Um, my right knee is almost completely back to normal, but since I was babying it, now my left knee hurts, which, you know, <laughs> what can you do? I mean, <laughs> it just happens. So I'm just dealing with that as best I can and really focusing on portion control. So one thing that I always heard all my life was drink a lot of water. And I love water and I do drink some water, but I wasn't drinking a lot of water. So what I started making myself do was I noticed that when we would make something for dinner and it was so good, I would want to eat more no matter what. Like, I would want to get it in there. I wanted that flavor. I wanted the taste. I wanted it all to be in my mouth because it tastes so good. Carrie brings home this pork and she puts this rub on it with garlic and Parmesan and, you know, it's this beautiful pork loin. It's just so delicious. And for some reason, my condiment of choice is basically a dressing for salad that's a Catalina honey. Well, I used to go crazy with that. Well, I just decided to start to drink a ton of water and make sure I was drinking water after almost every bite of food that I took. So finally, after a couple days ago, now this has been about a week and a half I've been doing this, I have stopped going in for a second plate. Like, my stomach has become completely used to me. Hi, honey. Completely used to me eating these little amounts. And 
I'm not hungry anymore. And then I don't feel so full and sick after I've had those two helpings. So it's pretty awesome. And then I know I kind of might have threw some of you for a loop with the whole condiment part. I started using less of the condiment because before I would cut, you know, a bit of the pork loin. It would have this like nice, beautiful little cut. And I would just smother that with the Catalina honey. Just smother. Well, guess what? It tastes just as good with a tiny bit on there. Now, I'm not measuring things out. I'm not only using two tablespoons of, you know, my condiment. But I can tell you that instead of me putting, like, you know, two squirts on maybe two or three times during my meal, I'm down to one and then very rarely two squirts. And that's a big step for me. And I'm going to call that a win. So if any of you guys are experiencing the same thing or on the same step in this journey, I hope it's working for you as much as it's working for me. I'm very, very happy with the progress I'm making. I have zero complaints. And I will tell you, I, I didn't set out to change a lot of stuff. I just set out to make myself aware of what I was doing. And that day that I told you guys when I poured that bowl of cereal and I saw, holy crap, this is just a regular size bowl you know, that I would just fill up. It turned out to be almost three servings of cereal. Just making myself aware of how much I eat has really been a life changer, you know, for me. I mean, seriously. So if you guys have any questions about that or any tips, you know, please leave them down below. You know, I've said this from the beginning. We are in this together. I'd love for us to to do this and the last thing I want to talk about is you know one of our loyal loyal campers from the very beginning Eileen she has started a page it's Eileen's accountability group I joined it with my personal Facebook um, I'm going to start being as active as I can in there you know Eileen is very motivating she's talking about the things that she's doing so I'm going to leave a link to that page and if anyone's on this journey I think that's going to be the best way that we can all communicate with each other and we can talk and get tips and you know I mean we can talk about dinner we can talk about you know what people are eating when they're exercising because winter is going to come out you know get here very quickly for a lot of us you know anybody who lives like definitely in the east side of the state or east side of the country and you know anyone who's basically on the other side of the world there um so we're gonna have to really stick together and and be each other's accountability buddies especially when it comes to those winter months so but i'm gonna go the next time you see us hopefully we will have some news about what's going on with the blood test and then it's our anniversary so i don't know that we'll have a long vlog today but you know we're gonna definitely have some fun this weekend and really enjoy each other's company so i think we need it especially after everything through this week but anyway guys i will catch you in a bit hello yes hi how are you good how are you good good i think you need to pull up a chair okay Uh, okay. Yeah. Did you know? Well, we took a home pregnancy test. Oh, you did? Okay. We did, yeah. I asked Lori, I go, did Kimmy do a test? <laughs> I just wondered. Yeah, it's a nice strong positive, 207. 207, awesome. Um, oh, I know, congratulations to you. Thank you. Uh, 207's kind of high, right? Well, you know what, it's a nice strong positive. In this specialty, we want to see it at least 100. But I've certainly seen higher than that. Okay. So For single or multiples? <laughs> I mean, is well, you know what? At this at this point, it's one single draw. I I don't. I look at these numbers every day. I'm not suspicious by a two hundred seven. Okay. If you know, I mean, with patients that we have on fertility drugs, but we did this natural. So if I had to guess right now, I would say one. And plus, we we tested at exactly you know two weeks out. Right. Right. As opposed to, like when we're doing the IVF, we do it. Um, we do it at ten days, and we tell those patients we want to see it at least at a hundred. Okay. So there's even a timing thing. We're doing you, you know, um, you know, standard protocol in an IUI is that we do two weeks out because. You know, we kind of time this with ovulation, and then we wouldn't really look for you to start a period until, week, until two weeks. So right. we're at that point, 
and Mm -hmm. your estrogen level 138, progesterone 16.2. He said those levels are fine. Your ACG is 207, and he wants you back on Monday. We would check a thyroid at that time because early pregnancy can affect your thyroid hormone. Okay. So, and we want to make sure that these numbers double appropriately. We would check you back, you know, because of the weekend, we'll check you on Monday Mm -hmm. since we're not open on the weekend. And I want to see that number over doubled. Okay. Awesome. Yes. So I'm happy for you too. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks so much, yeah. Betsy. Oh, and Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany's there, too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, congratulations. To you too. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Really, really excited. So, you know what? Just take it easy. Stay on your prenatal vitamins. I like am, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, awesome. And we need to eat to 30 on Monday. All right, sounds good. All right, that's perfect. Okay. okay very good. All right, very happy for you, too. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Take care. Thank you. you. All right, mm-hmm. bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We're pregnant. Well, Officially. Did you expect any different? Well, I just wanted to hear a good, strong number. So, she's what was the number? Two something? 207. Yeah, and you know what the normal number is right now? No. Like half that. Is that? Oh, crap. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> well, at least she said that. Oh no. She only thinks, tends to believe there's only one. Right. We won't know until we get an ultrasound right. done, so. Right. Okay, so good. Just one baby. <sighs> <sighs> we'll see. Wait, what do you mean we'll see? You, you don't know. <sighs> oh my gosh. Alright. Okay. That's awesome. Yes it is. It's official. Official. It's official. It's official. So Monday is just really the last, like, since she, I mean, she was happy. Yeah. She said, get a chair. It's a strong number. So is there any reason for us to worry about Monday? Or do we just. I don't think so. So, but Monday would really be one of our last days kind of worrying until, like, the end of the first trimester. Well, yeah, I guess so, yeah. I mean, as far as, like, from what I read yesterday, which, it was a lot. Yeah. That's, that's when I'm... Well, we want to see our numbers double. And assuming. Then we want to hear a heartbeat. That's going to be another big step. Okay. So. So, I don't know what any of these mean. Oh. We'll have to look at them. Because I don't know what... And... A good one is, but the one that I read is that like 147 and higher, uh-huh. two weeks out, mm-hmm. was multiples. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. I I, it's hard to go by numbers because everybody's different, you know? Okay. So. so yeah, it says it's supposed to double um, every two to three days. Yeah. Or something. So, so we want to see over 400. Higher, yeah. Yeah. Higher than a 414. So, okay, so it's official you're pregnant. Yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to be stupid or anything. What happens if your numbers aren't doubled Monday? Uh, what does that There could be mean? something wrong. Oh. Yeah. She said she would have been worried, like some people are at half that. She said she wanted to see the number at 100. Yeah. And we were at 207. Okay. So, I know that she's not going to say this, but with everything I read yesterday, uh-huh. this is a multiple number. You think so? I am. In, I mean, okay, I'm not going to believe everything just because it's on the internet. That stuff at? On normal HCG level. On the internet. Like three weeks for an HCG level. Wait, this is yeah, is fifty five to fifty. I don't know what this is. This says nothing like what she's doing. Maybe this one's not right. I don't know. Did you hear that, Ruby? You're gonna have a sister You're or a brother. Be a big sister. We're gonna have to get the cat shirts that read <laughs> big honorary sister. big sister <laughs> yeah. something or another. <sighs> okay. Ouch. Alright, well. So I guess we'll see on. Um, 
Yeah. Monday. Monday. I guess we'll go Monday. Yeah. I think that it would probably be good. Let's just end the vlog here today and spend some... Let's just d do some stuff now. Okay. Yeah, so hope you guys don't mind. It's pretty early, but we have a lot of content for today. I think we're going to go ahead and end it and yeah. like... This is big news for us. We got a lot of calls to make. And celebrate. Yeah, we should probably go get some popcorn. <laughs> popcorn? Okay, yeah. Hi, Ruby. Yeah, we gotta get your, talk about your low appetite. I haven't really out. felt like eating much. I'm not sick to my stomach or anything. I just, nothing. Maybe, yeah, maybe. I don't, not I don't hungry. feel hungry, is what it is. Okay. So. Hang on, honey. <laughs> Man, she is just not gonna give up until she's over here but yeah guys thanks so much and today has just been an uproar of a day um and i guess we're just gonna go ahead and leave it at that and yeah anything else uh, i don't think so all right well you know the drill thanks so much for following along sharing us with your friends subscribing yeah ringing that bell but we love you guys and uh thanks for everything yeah and we'll catch you on the flippity